Goblins Come To, based on the Korean folk tale, written and illustrated by Helena J. C. Read by Helena J. C. Once upon a time, an honest husband and wife lived in a small village, working very hard, poor and hungry, but happy were they. One day, the husband went into the forest and chopped down trees for warming his house. But he worked so hard that he didn't even know the sun already went down. It was too dark to find the path to the village, and he was lost. He wandered carrying heavy firewood. Soon, thankfully, he spotted a rundown house. He entered and looked around the house. It was empty. He decided to stay the night there. He lied down and fell asleep quickly. Then suddenly, he was woken by noisy voices from a distance. He looked outside. One flames were flying and coming toward the house. They were goblins. He was scared and hid in a wooden crate in the dark corner. Goblins got into the house. They laughed and sang loudly, circled and bounced like crazy. They had a red hat. It is an invisibility gum too. They played hide and seek with the gum too. The husband was shaking with fear in the crate, making a sound desperately. It dawned. Goblins rushed out of the house. The flames disappeared somewhere. The husband got out of the house too. He saw a red thing on the threshold. It was the gun too. Goblins dropped while rushing out of the house. He took it and went back home in a hurry. The wife was surprised her husband came back home safely. And she asked what the red thing was. It must be the goblins come too, said the husband. And he tried on it. Then he completely disappeared. The wife was shocked and cried. Where are you? He took off the gum too. Then he appeared. This is the invisibility gum too. The husband was thrilled. But you can't take so much lost thing. The wife warned. Let's say just to borrow this for a while, said the husband. He left home with the gum too. He stopped at the market and put on the gum too. He became invisible. He walked around the crowded market, but no one could see him. The hungry husband picked rice cake on a stall and gobbled it, and fruits, yacht, jockey, and so on he devoured. The market people were frightened when they saw fruits disappear in a twinkling. Ghost! they cried. The invisible husband giggled. The wife was surprised when her husband came home with an armful of food. Where did you get all this from? You store them, she said. No one could see me. They called me ghost. You won't be hungry anymore, said the husband. The wife had never had so much food like this before. For the first time, she was stopped, but she worried. Next day, the husband left him with the gum too again. This time, he headed to one rich young man's house. Lots and lots of rice were in its barn, and golden jewels were in the master's room. The husband, who was scared of nothing thanks to the invisibility gum too, strode into the house and took those precious stuff 
as much as he could carry. Look at those flying things! Ghost! People in the house were frightened and cried. And the master of the house, who was smoking a long cigarette pipe, fell down with a shock when he saw a bundle of his treasure was flying. Then, tiny embers were popped out of the cigarette and one was set on the invisibility gun too. The husband was not aware of it and returned home. It's too much. I am concerned, said the wife when she saw what her husband brought home. Don't worry, no one can know it's me, he said proudly. The wife sighed deeply. What is this? The husband shouted angrily when he finally saw a hole on the gum too. Fix it, please, asked the husband. The wife unwillingly patched the hole with a piece of red fabric to match color of the gum too. The husband went to the market again wearing the gum too. He picked these and those goods delightedly. The market people saw flying and disappearing things again, but this time they also saw a flying vivid red fabric piece. Let's follow and catch it, they shouted angrily. They followed the red one, holding clubs and sticks. When they cut the red fabric piece, they wielded clubs and sticks and beat it. Help! It hurts! The husband cried. The husband heard and rolled over and over on the ground. The gum too came off and people could see him. It's you! You stole ours! They pointed and yelled at him. The husband ran away. The wife was relieved when the dirty and wounded husband came back home because it seemed her good husband was back. The 